Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. This weekend I'm on call again, and I really wanted to shoot a video. And I just have a small case this morning, so I kind of figured I'd bring the camera in with me again and do something similar to the previous uh, Day in the Life video. But this time I want to try and capture all the different roles that people play in the OR and maybe do like a little snippet of you know what their duties are in the OR and uh, and how they go on about their day and how they help so I hope you like it thanks all right we're in the hospital now and yeah you guys have seen multiple videos with me but just in case this is the first video you're seeing we are both surgical techs. This is Jonathan. Jonathan uh, Alpici. I work with him here in uh, Las Vegas. He's been doing this for... 28 years. 28 years. I've been at it for 10 years. Yes. But as a surgical tech, uh, what do we do in the OR? Well, today is uh, I, I work in a, a Saturday shift, but usually my role in, in, in being a surgical tech, being on call, being here in 30 minutes, my responsibilities are to be get the room open, count all my, my surgical instruments along working with the RN as the circulator. I work under the RN and my job is to get the counts done, the instruments, the labs, rate tech, the traumatic needles and the blades and I count it and make sure it's ready to go. Then I get call the RN to do my final counts in the end and um, what else? Um, that's the job of a surgical tech, but mostly when you come in on, on the weekends or call, you have 30 minutes and you gotta fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta not fly. an easy task, <laughs> but um, I love my job. I've been doing it 28 years and yeah. I love it. And here's Vince, he's an RN. Like today, I come, today I come in and working on a Saturday shift. We're gonna do. <laughs> but I, we made a game plan where we're gonna. Vince! Come. Hey, everybody, how you doing? So, As you can see, he's much taller than either of us. I am tall. I know. <laughs> uh, nice seeing you guys. Welcome to the surgical tech world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to kind of simplify things there a little bit, as a surgical tech, we're the ones going into the operating room before the procedure starts. We're setting up the sterile field, counting everything on the sterile field with our nurse or circulating nurse, and basically uh, assisting in the surgery alongside the surgeon. That's our role. Uh, yeah, so we're up here at the front desk and the person who runs the front desk, our charge nurse, Debbie. Good morning. So Debbie, you are an RN. Yes. And what would you say your, your main focus of your job here is running the board? Uh, my main focus is making sure that we uh, keep the schedule going and surgeries are completed um, in a hopefully in a timely manner. In a timely manner, yes. And if we they're not, delay. then you can kind of move cases around. And, and move cases around to make sure that we don't delay doctors or delay patient care. Um, She's also the one responsible enough for everybody in the OR making sure they get breaks and lunches yes. so she's an important person yes I get people fed yeah <laughs> and I fill the candy drawer and she fills the candy drawer <laughs> because happy employees are, are that's right. it's a good thing that's right um so um what else? That's, I don't, that's basically, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it's just coordinating. That's the most important part. Coordinating staff, coordinating physicians. Essentially um, being like the most important OR coordinator in, you have to know what, in the operating room. You have to know what every everybody's doing at all times. You have to have eyes in the back of your head. That's right. On to the next. Next up. We have the lovely Kim. <laughs> She's our uh, our circulating nurse in the OR, or one of the many circulating nurses. One of the only one of many. Nurses, yeah. But you're my circulating nurse today. Correct. Uh, so, kind of go over, you know, like a brief little tidbit of what you contribute to the operating room. What my role is, basically. Yes. Okay. 
Um, well, first and foremost, uh, get the room ready. Um, whatever positioning setup we're going to have, I get all the positioning devices, make sure that um, we've got the correct bed in the room, um, and then gather whatever supplies that I'm going to need to get the patient actually ready for the surgery. Prep, um, if I'm going to shave the patient, put in a Foley, all those kinds of things. We've got uh, these handy dandy preference cards that um, for the most part they're kept, ours are for the CBOR kept Fairly today. good. Fairly good. It's I mean, not always the case. Every now and again you have one, but uh, it'll give uh, instructions on how the doctor wants the patient positioned, with what positioning devices, how he wants them prepped, what medications he wants um, us to have available for the backfield, um, and then anything else like particular equipment or if he wants blood in the room, that type of stuff. And then my next assignment is to look at the patient. That's what I'm doing right now. I've got our patient for today. Um, up. I'm just reviewing their labs, um, any medications they have ordered that I might have to give, and just taking pertinent information that's going to help me, help anesthesia, help the surgeon during the case. And and then I just help Shane with whatever he needs. When he scrubs in, count with me. Yep. we got to count. Um, on occasion there's things we find out last minute we need, or we find out last minute we didn't have. Yeah, <laughs> this does happen. So, so, so with, she's got her running shoes on. Yep, yep. <laughs> so that's that's my. Uh, oh, and I, I get to tie them up too. How, ma how many people true. get to say they get to tie people up at work and get paid for it? That's true. Not sent to HR. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, the other big role that I have is um, taking care of the patient. I'll go interview the patient, confirm all the consents, make sure we have all the necessary paperwork. Um, to legally do the procedure, yeah. and then um, I'm responsible for helping transport the patient back to the OR, and I'll help anesthesia get them off to sleep. Um, we'll commence with the prepping and the positioning and start the surgery. And then at the end of the case, it's my responsibility to take them to wherever they're going to recover, whether that's um, the post anesthesia care unit or ICU. Um, Sometimes I have the responsibility of talking to the family. Um, so lots of lots, lots of, of stuff. lots of stuff for the circulator. You gotta yes. kinda have a a feel for many different roles. It's not just paperwork yep. in the OR, it's a lot of different things. Yeah. They, they do a lot of stuff outside the OR and they deal much more so with the patient and their family. Uh, with that I'd like to transition to the pre op nurse, because you're talking about picking a patient up from pre-op and going over labs, and I know you have to kind of do a handoff with the pre-op nurse. Exactly. So, let's transition to the pre-op nurse. Now we are over here in pre-op, talking with the pre-op nurse. This is Howell. Howell. And he's one of our pre-op nurses here, and I just wanted to do a brief little little snippet into, uh, into what you do as a pre-op nurse. All right, as a pre-op nurse, uh, we make sure that, you know, the patients are stable to go back to the OR. We make sure that their vital signs are uh, good. All the cardiac clearance from the doctors are all um, available for the doctor to uh, see. Mm -hmm. And also the consents are signed, you know, and we verify the right um, um, surgical sites the, the surgical and stuff like site. that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then we make sure that the patients' are, uh, IVs are all good to go. They're all. Um, you know, intact and they're flashing well. Yeah. Yeah. Antibiotics should be on the t bedside when the pre uh, OR nurse are there. Mm -hmm. It's available. Uh, and much. then basically the surgeon, the anesthesiologist, uh, possibly a PA or assistant will come in here and as well as the circulating nurse that's going to be doing the case, they'll all be coming in here to pre op to talk to the patient and then you'll have kind of a handoff with the circulating yes. nurse that's going to be for the room. Yeah. But yeah, it's a cool job. <laughs> it is a cool job. All right, that's pre-op. All right. <laughs> this is Jake. Jake is an anesthesia tech here in the OR. Why don't you tell me what you do? Well, our role is to assist the anesthesiologist uh, pretty much in every, you know, from start to finish in surgery. We clean the case up from the previous surgery. 
We get him ready with all his anesthesia equipment, uh, minus the drugs, and we assist with putting all the monitoring on. We assist with intravenous catheters, mm -hmm. central venous catheters, arterial catheters, and um, basically we get them anything that they need. That's essentially it. So, whereas my job is assisting the surgeon during surgery, his main focus is the anesthesiologist. That's right. Thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> we are getting much closer to our case starting and our anesthesiologist has shown up. This is Dr. Nino. If you can, tell the people a little snippet of what you do in the OR. Good morning. I'm Dr. Nino, one of the uh, cardiac anesthesiologists. Uh, we take care of uh, our patients, uh, particularly our cardiac patients. Uh, we're going to take the patient to the operating room in a few minutes and uh, we're going to induce uh, anesthesia of the patient asleep uh, while we perform uh, a surgical procedure. Um, we make sure that the patient is uh, safe and sound during the procedure and uh, by the end of the procedure we either wake them up or take them straight to the ICU for further care. Yep. Or for the lesser of sick patients, they can go to recovery, pack you, recovery, or they can go home the same or day. Or they can just go home, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, so that's your anesthesiologist. Hopefully we get a surgeon next. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are with surgeon in the OR. Pretty self-explanatory what he does in the OR. Obviously, he cuts. <laughs> I, I cause pain for the staff and the patients. That's both very true. Trying to help the patients and <laughs> hurt the staff. He's got, a, he's got a lot of other duties that, you know, he has to take care of outside of the OR as far as, you know, seeing all of his patients and rounding in on his patients and, you know, there's, there's a lot of other stuff that goes along with what he does. But as far as directly in the OR, the man operates, man or woman. Fairly self-explanatory. I shame want to tell Want me to tell you what we do in the, uh, as far as when the patient comes in. So I see the patient at the bedside. Usually the nurses are there. We kind of get the patient ready, make, answer any questions for the family, um, sign consents, and we go back to the OR. Shane should have everything ready. Should. Um, hopefully I've told him what we're planning on doing. So if yeah. I communicate well, then it's yeah. easier for the staff. Yeah. And we do our surgery and uh, take the patient to the recovery room and talk to the family and let them know how everything went and uh, move on to the next victim. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have Henny here. She is a an EBS worker up here in the OR. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it's environmental services, kind of like the the housekeeper position uh, in your position. What do you what do you do, Annie? What do you do here? Um, I'm going to start fix my car because I have a room to clean. Yep. So I have to have my car ready. Yep. So, I so we have multiple. We have like three of these carts scattered around our OR, and it's full of uh, trash bags and cleaning solutions and uh, floor mops and stuff like that. So she is basically, well, her and her team. It's the weekend, so she's here by herself. Yes. <laughs> but during the week, there's usually five, four, five, four people, four, four, four people yes. on, and it's basically they are like the turnover team. As soon as somebody calls that we finish up a case and the patient leaves the room, they are there as a team, going into the OR and trying to clean it to help us turn the room over as quickly as possible. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, we are back here in Sterile Supply. This is Ed. He's a uh, Sterile Supply tech, and so, he does a great job at it. Uh, some little tidbits of what he does back here. As you can see, we've got all these case carts here. Mm -hmm. First thing in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, printing out a bunch of preference cards and stuff like that and pick lists, and he's, he's basically going through this entire supply unit and, and picking out these case carts uh mm -hmm. for everybody for all these cases for for the entire day or the next day yes sir um you do the ordering as well well or, well some some of the techs back well here some of the, the techs does the ordering um as the supply comes in we bring it up from the um, warehouse yeah put the supplies away make sure everything is in order make sure the the place is clean yeah 
And their big job back here is organization. I mean, as you can see, everything is perfectly labeled mm -hmm. and in its place. So they've done a fantastic job at keeping everything organized back here and easy mm -hmm. for even us to come back here and find something. And if we don't know, we're like, mm -hmm. hey, where is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. And that's one thing we um, try our best to help out the all staff and the scrub okay. techs and the nurses uh, to understand the um, where the product is, especially when new product comes in. And yeah. uh, we're very vigilant on that because um, knowledge is key. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. I am back here in recovery, and this is Linda, one of our recovery nurses here. And just a little snippet into your day, what you, what you do as a recovery nurse. Hi. My name is Linda. I'm a recovery room nurse, a PACU nurse, post-anesthesia care. The patients come in from the OR or from special procedures or cath lab, and we recover them from general anesthesia or IV sedation. So we usually keep patients an hour unless they have any complications, mm -hmm. and then they go to ICU or they go to regular med surge floor or home. The nice thing about recovery is it's a very fast pace. You never know what kind of day you're gonna have, but it's a fast moving day. You can have all outpatients, you can have children, you can have ICU patients. Um, it's a great change up. You never know what to anticipate, so it's pretty exciting. I've been doing this for over 20 years and I couldn't imagine doing any other kind of nursing. That is perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome Appreciate so much. It. Have a good day. Okay, I think that is it. Uh, we didn't really get to touch on all of the roles because it is a weekend here. So we do have pathologists up here in the OR, obviously that you know, read specimens and stuff like that that we send to them in the OR. Right, but um, okay. I yeah. think that was pretty much all the roles. Sometimes we have uh, radiology techs come up here and run a C-arm for orthopedic surgeries or maybe pop in to do a chest x-ray or something like that. Obviously they're not here today because there's no procedures being done. It's a Saturday morning. Um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, getting this little tidbit into each and every one of these roles that's all related to the operating room. And I will see you again on the next video. Bye.